Hi everyone, welcome to Media Hunt's 2020 Vision. I've got with me Chris Jones, he's the head of Savills Gold Coast, another project being knocked down behind me, it's the Cav Steakhouse. How are you Chris, Steve? Very good, Chris, this is uh, amazing isn't it? It's an iconic site, tell me about the project. I don't know, how long has Cav been here, 30 or 40 years or something? Even longer. Yeah, so the maps anticipated our lean project started, as you can see they're knocking it down, so that shows a lot of confidence. That's been built very much on huge demand from Melbourne and Sydney, which we should be aware of. We've got 33 sales already, so we're very confident about this project. Arthur Lowe's back here, Arthur's been in property happy for 40 years, so this is a cracker, this one's going to sell. So what's going on in the marketplace? From, I mean, you're up at the northern end, we've covered a lot of the southern end lately, from yes. early down, down to Coolangatta, we're in Labrador now, uh, Southport area, I mean, it's the CBD. What, what's happening, what's the market doing here? Well, look, there's always a lot of flim flam in our business, as you know, but, but legitimately, we are selling properties, sight unseen, to Melbourne people particularly, and Sydney's staying to happen now, the borders are open here, but it was predominantly Melbourne. So we've even sold a house uh, Monaco Street record price for 12.5 million about about two or three weeks ago from a Melbourne couple. Another one for 3.1 from a Melbourne couple. We've got another house at Monaco Street 155 for 3.5 million, and we've had 29 inquiries from Melbourne with offers. So, so, so it's it's it is it's legitimately a, a real growth for the Gold Coast. Finally. So the one for 12.5 million. Yes. Had the Victorians inspected the property. Yes, they did. Okay. They saw it once. And, 12, and, they, and they bought it straight away. And they didn't want to go back to Melbourne. And they bought other properties up here too. What do you see as the future for the coast at the moment? We've got so many projects being launched. Um, there's no uh, issue of oversupply, I don't, it doesn't seem. No, no, I, I don't know. I think what's interesting, if you look at the ones that have been very successful, they've been boutique buildings. Yeah. You know, we used to have the big 200 rooms and stuff like that, and that, that'll come again. But what's selling, as you know, is the 75, 85 apartment buildings, yeah. you know? and that's what we've got here. So that's what that's the market seems to be that, because you obviously got mostly residential. They get in quicker. There's not a two or three year build. The prices are right. So this is why this project is going to be successful. To me, that seems to be the segment at the moment. Also, a lot of owner occupiers buying, you know. Um, and obviously value as well, you know, the value on the coast compared to, say, Sydney and Melbourne. Uh, that's, that's a recurring commentary as well from people that, you know, you can buy in here for, you know, one and a half million, you might be buying in Sydney for three or four. Yeah, I agree. And with the psychology of working from home now, people know they can move. So they go, hang on, I can run my business from the Gold Coast with the weather, the lower in costs, the, the improved infrastructure. Why do I live in Melbourne? I mean, it's, Minus five in some areas down there this morning with a wind chill factor. One of the challenges for the Gold Coast has always been jobs. Now jobs are now flexible and they can move, that's been solved. That's why people are finally deciding, even though there's always been a latent demand to move here, they're going, okay, let's do it now. Well, thanks for your insights, Chris, and good luck with the project. Uh, congratulations on it and uh, look forward to it being sold out very soon. Yeah, thanks, Steve. Look, Media Hunt's always been very supportive of the project business and on this one particularly. So thanks, mate, for your help. I'm sure it's going to be very successful. Thanks, Chris. Good on you. Cheers, mate. Thanks for tuning in to Media Hunt 2020. We'll see you again next week.